Happs, the company shared on LinkedIn that on Wednesday, August the 16th, the third stratospheric flight test of its airship platform completed, all primary objectives, including attitude and automated pressure control, beyond line-of-sight command, and reliable launch and ascent. The test flight also successfully enabled three independent and redundant data links, and also carried multiple payloads including an infrasonic sensor, a portable optical particle spectrometer, a radiosynth, and a prototype aerosol study device. High-altitude pseudo-satellites, also known as high-altitude platform stations, are airships, balloons, or fixed-wing drones, that provide temporary connectivity to an area from the stratosphere, above commercial flights and turbulent weather patterns. In the case of SAI, this is an airship that flies at 65,000 feet, and is powered by solar energy captured by the airship's solar, cape, covering the platform, made of copper indium gallium solenide cells, and gallium arsenide cells. The SAI HAPS has been proposed not only to provide connectivity to rural communities and underserved regions, but also to house onboard sensors that can track greenhouse gases in real time and provide high resolution Earth observation. According to the company's website, SAI selected the airship form factor for its HAPS as it allows for geostationary capability while lifting. Kawasaki Hydrogen Engine Motorcycle On July the 20th, Kawasaki Motors, a member of the Kawasaki Heavy Industries Group, conducted the world's first asterisk, one public demonstration run of a hydrogen ice, internal combustion engine, motorcycle, by a mass production motorcycle manufacturer, at Suzuka Circuit Asterisk 2 in Suzuka City, Mi Prefecture, Japan. The hydrogen ice motorcycle was designed and built as part of research, that began in March 2023, with test runs starting this year, culminating in this public demonstration run. Mounted in the machine is a hydrogen engine based on the 998 cubic centimeters, in line for supercharged engine found in Kawasaki's Ninja H2 motorcycle, with modifications made to allow direct injection of hydrogen fuel into the cylinders. The motorcycle's chassis was designed to accommodate hydrogen fuel canisters, and a hydrogen fuel supply system on board. Hydrogen ice motorcycles run on hydrogen combustion, producing the rumble and pulsating sensation that riders enjoy when twisting the throttle, while emitting mainly water asterisk 3. As part of their carbon neutral initiative, Kawasaki Motors is currently conducting research and development with the aim of realizing a functioning hydrogen ice motorcycle asterisk for as one carbon neutral option for riders in the early 2030s. Kawasaki Motors is a full member of HIES, Hydrogen Small Mobility and Engine Technology, Asterisk 5, a research association focused on hydrogen technology that is actively conducting basic research on hydrogen engines. Humane I Pin Days before gadget reviewers weighed in on the Humane I Pin, a futuristic wearable device powered by artificial intelligence, the founders of the company gathered their employees and encouraged them to brace themselves. The reviews might be disappointing, they warned. Humans founders, Bethany Bongiorno and Imran Chaudhry were right. In April, reviewers brutally panned the new $699 product, which Humane had marketed for a year with ads and at glitzy events like Paris Fashion Week. The eye pin was totally broken and had glaring flaws, some reviewers said. One declared it the worst product I've ever reviewed. About a week after the reviews came out, Humane started talking to HP, the computer and printer company, about selling itself for more than $1 billion. Three people with knowledge of the conversation said, other potential buyers have emerged. Astrobot S1 Experience unmatched speed, power, and precision with this cutting-edge humanoid marvel. With a top speed of 10 meters per second, Astrobot S1 blazes past the average adult man, ensuring lightning-fast performance. Equipped with a payload capacity of 10 kilograms per arm, it effortlessly lifts heavy loads, making it your go-to companion for tasks that demand strength and efficiency. Featuring an impressive 7 degrees of freedom per arm, Astrobot S1 boasts a range of motion that rivals that of the human limb. Whether it's reaching high or stretching low, this robotic wonder moves with unparalleled flexibility and dexterity. Its repeatability of motions within 0.03 mm ensures precise movements, guaranteeing flawless execution of intricate tasks. Astrobot S1 is the epitome of innovation and reliability, so why wait? Buy Astrobot S1 today and witness the unrivaled capabilities of this remarkable machine firsthand. Yes, Shenzhen-based Stardust Intelligence created the Astrobot S1 robot in real life. The S1 is designed to perform a variety of household tasks with impressive agility and speed. Worthington Waterway Barriers Paul Meeks, 
the president of Worthington Products, is on a mission. His company, Worthington Products, is so well known for its orange tough boom product line that many people overlook Worthington's other high-density polyethylene, HDPE, steel, and custom fabricated waterway barrier systems. Worthington is a multidisciplinary designer, manufacturer, and installer of waterway barrier systems made from steel, HDPE, or molded plastic, and Mr. Meeks wants people to know that. In this interview, he talks with Hydro Leader about the origins of Worthington products, and how it has grown into a worldwide leader in waterway barrier technology. Hydro Leader Wave Piston Wave Piston is a concept to harness wave power using a long string with collector plates that move with the waves. Hydraulic pumps between the plates pump water onshore, where it can either drive a turbine to create electricity or be used in desalination. The concept has been developed since 2009, with Wave Pistana S incorporated in 2014, based in HELSINGR, Denmark. The first full-scale device was installed off the coast of Gran Canaria in early 2024. The concept has been developed since 2009, when the first patent was awarded since then it has been tested at increasing scales. In 2010, tank testing was performed at 130 scale in the Wave Basin at Alborg University. This was followed by sea trials in Nissan Bredning at 1, 9 scale and at Hanstolm at 1. To scale there were also plans to test a device at Isala Piana, on the southwest coast of Sardinia, as part of the Wave to Energy and Water. Mo, Bo, Mo, Go motors help you tackle elevation getting you to the places where your knees would normally have to work their hardest. They feel as good on the stairs of the Eiffel Tower, as on that epic mountain peak you've been dreaming of, the steeper and longer the climb or descent, the more they support you. Neatly organizes all elements of the device and positions, them perfectly on the body. Built to withstand the most rugged adventuring, efficiently transfer power from the motor to your leg for maximum benefit as you walk. Engineered to maximize breathability and comfort while snugly hugging your leg. Adjustable to fit you just right every day. Give you a boost as you walk. By augmenting your quadricep and hamstring muscles with its horsepower and absorbing the impact of each step on your knee joints. Last for three plus hours of continuous uphill walking on maximum assistance. Recharges automatically during downhill walking. Quickly swaps out on the go for extended range. Instantly snap on to support you when you need, and snap off to get out of your way when you don't. Gives you full control over how much support you're getting while keeping you fully immersed in your surroundings. Three simple buttons to remember. Solar Zone. Sun designs and manufactures a drone that is both energy independent and can make its own decisions for fully automated missions. The company needed reliable, high-performance sub-assemblies to design its solar zone. This is why the startup approached Maxon for the propulsion system. Benjamin David, benefiting from a decade of experience at Airbus Defense and Space, created the company's sun based on a rather simple idea, adapting space technologies for use at lower altitude. This approach produced solar zone, a solar-powered, electrical, self-contained drone with a tandem wing design. Solar zone, with its dragonfly-like design, has excellent aerodynamic performance and a large surface area of solar panels to collect as much solar energy as possible. This is all within a very high performance, fully electric environment. We firmly believe that a combination of new technologies and renewable energy sources will best meet current environmental, economic, and societal challenges, says Benjamin David. He also points out that solar power increases the onboard battery life by a factor of three, just like a satellite. Solar Zone is packed with technologies. Half airplane, half drone, this UAV weighs 25 kilograms, has a 4.50 M wingspan, and is innovative in several ways. Easy to use, Solar Zone is as easy to operate as a drone, but with the high performance of an aircraft. Fast deployment, ready to fly in 30 minutes. Range, 12 hours of non-stop flight. Silent, as the drone is fully electric, it flies without making any noise. Excellent handling. This is due to its aerodynamic configuration, combined with the technical choices implemented. Reliable, backup systems to ensure a high degree of reliability for users. Low maintenance, all electric devices require little maintenance. 